Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode of Tokyo Revengers. Logo review. If you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links for both of those in the description below. And the YouTuber things, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. If you want to check out any of my reactions for Tokyo Revengers, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist with all of those reactions. Last episode of Tokyo Revengers was heavily censored and apparently it's not Crunchyroll's fault. I wanted to blame them. Uh, first, I just wanted to blame the studio for just being lazy because I thought that's what it was, that they were just being lazy. And then turned out that I guess that's not what it was. So I can't really blame them for being lazy when they weren't being lazy. In fact, they animated a lot and I saw the unedited version, the raw version. And that shit looked nice. But for some reason, Japan, well, not some reason. I, I mean, I, I totally get it. Japan is worried about the Western culture that will see the symbol that is a swastika, which is the correct terminology. It's not the Nazi symbol, the Nazi swastika. It is just a swastika, which is that pattern. It's the spiral pattern, which typically in Buddhist culture is reversed from what you see the Nazis did. It's like the opposite direction and it's not tilted at any angle and it doesn't stand for whatever the fuck they meant it to stand for. Instead, it stands for peace. It stands for, for things that are more representative of Buddhism. And I, I, I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but I think that Buddhism and what the Nazis believed don't really go hand in hand. So it is just a symbol and I totally get that the Western audience would flip out about it. I mean, Twitter, that's it, Twitter, it exists. And with Twitter existing, that's enough that it's gonna trend and people are gonna, oh, we need to cancel this. And then everyone that actually likes the series is gonna have to educate these people. But Americans are fucking idiots, they don't care. You can tell them the correct thing and they're gonna be like, like they're just gonna be idiots like 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 most americans are so you know i'm not even gonna you understand how many americans that people try to explain cultural things to every single day and those americans just don't listen americans are ignorant by choice so people trying to tell an american like hey no that's not what that symbol is they're not gonna listen they don't care they want to believe what they want to believe and they're very stubborn about it. That's, I mean, I'm an American. I've, I've seen this shit firsthand. So we're probably gonna get more censored episodes and I'm gonna love it. <sighs> I wish there was a website that was putting up an uncensored version or if I could find the, the raws or if there was, listen, if you guys know of a way that I can watch this that will show me everything uncensored, please let me know because I would love to see that because it is a symbol that they're censoring, a symbol that I understand what it means. So I don't have a problem with the symbol being there. I just don't. So I would love to check out that version if you find a version. I mean, for this episode, it's already too late. Diana didn't give me a version. She said that nobody in the comments had some like superior link that was the uh, uncensored version, you know? So I just gotta kind of roll with it and deal with the shitty version. Let's go check out the new episode. Are we getting a little bit of recap? Let's go. Aw. <laughs> Mikey. Uh, so wholesome. Draken and Mikey. Why is he creeping on him like that? Oh, I can tell they censored that just now. Oh, and maybe not? Okay. Maybe not? Maybe not? I don't see any symbolism, so maybe not. This is where Draken says, Why the fuck are you following me, Takamichi? Here we go. Watch. He's going to find him eventually. He's going to find out. Yeah, I don't understand how it's supposed to be like the different factions. I don't believe that shit. Regert. Oh, a dragon backstory. Let's go. No way. Need a tug before class? What the hell? Bro, what? What What the hell? The smell of lube. What the shit? Damn it. 
Let's go. Okay, I'll stop calling him Ken from this from this moment on. He's Draken. I'm never calling him Ken. Turn your head to the side, bro. It's Dragon time. <laughs> that is pretty dope. Damn, that man got some monster ears. I think that might just be the art style, though. Let's go. Damn. He got a dragon tattoo in the fifth grade? What the fuck? That's so dope. Oh, is this how we're going to see them meet? Mikey and Draken? Want to throw hands with Mikey first? Hey, let's go, my dog. Throw hands. Ah. Dang, okay. Mikey with the drip. Okay. Look at him. A bunch of the 48 positions overlap? What does that mean? Yo, are they about to fuck up this whole squad? Let's go? What the fuck is this? Oh, let's go! Dang, Mikey. <gasps> Bro, we fucked him up. Damn, he said Mikey Sama. Ah. Ah. Wholesome. Oh my God. Best friends. Oh, so Draken got, or not Draken, but Mikey got a tattoo on his like neck and shit. Oh, is that modern day or no? I mean, what the fuck's going on? Oh, <gasps> it was modern day. We saw Mikey just now. Modern Mikey. Watch that be the Osanai guy. What the fuck caused him to turn into this person he is now? You good? What actually happened? Was one of their own. Can we get some answers? Like, you just gonna cry the whole time? Like. Okay, here we go. They fought Toman. Ah, oh, dude, it is the one fucking dude. It's the one dude. You know what? I have a better idea. It's not even that, you know, the one asshole dude that's at the top with Mikey. What if he's not even the big player? Like, what if he is just the boss before the final boss? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if he's just following someone else's orders? I know he was up on the roof. He's like paying attention to him. Blah, blah, blah. What if he's not even the one that set these things in motion? Because that's like the obvious choice right now. They're saying, oh, it's his plan. Like, you would think it's that guy, the dickhead that seems like a smug asshole who's also a leader of Toman right now with uh, Ken, sorry, with Mikey. So you'd think it's him, but what if that's not the case? What if it was somebody that betrayed Tomon? This guy's gonna end up dead. Damn, it looks like Draken dying fucked up a lot of people's lives, damn. Yeah, he was shooketh, bro. He wasn't just shaking, he was shooketh. To take some of the power, hello, duh. Switch, young selves. Akun. Yeet.
A hairstylist, huh? You just gotta do it, bro. Ah, oh, wholesome. For real, dude. Where the fuck are you going, bro? <laughs> Here we go. We finally got his cry. It's okay, guys. He cried once. We're good. He shouldn't be crying for the rest of the episode. Actually, he could probably hit multiple cries during one episode. Risk your life is what you have to do. Oh, he has to get his ass whooped by this guy now? You gotta take the punches. There you go. Hmm. No, you don't understand, Mikey. Then you're only... Th the only thing you could do now, Takamichi, is you have to... Take the fucking knife for Ken. For Draken, sorry. Let's go, Draken. Oh, that's my boy. Oh my god, that's my boy. That's my dog. This is the one dickhead, right? No? Uh, it might be somebody else. Maybe it is. What the fuck? He brought all of his boys with him? What the fuck? Oh, they have like this infinite snakes symbol. That's kind of cool. Dude, this episode is literally like five minutes long. How? There is no way the full episode just ate. There's no way. That was so fast. I don't understand how that was a full episode. A little recap shit and then, you know, what the hell, dude? So we get Draken's story a little bit when he's younger and how he meets Mikey, how they basically fucking became friends. And that was like wholesome. Damn, that was like half the episode. No wonder. Oh my God. For a brief moment, we also see, we also see like modern day Mikey up on this building. He's got like Draken's tattoo on his neck. It's pretty cool. Takamichi and Naoto, they talk to the leader of that Mebius gang. And they find out some stuff, man. They, they find out that he, what he did was on behalf of someone else. Maybe Takamichi is about to question this Mebius guy or fight the Mebius guy until he gets that answer of who someone else is. I mean, that, that would be my guess. I thought he was gonna have to, I thought Takamichi was gonna fight the one dude that was mad until he gave up and like they just stopped trying to fight Mebius. But then obviously the, the the, the gang shows up and now it's different. But yeah, they find that out about the one guy. While in the future, they pretty much are like, hey, so I, you gotta stop the fight, Takamichi. And um, he's like, yep, I'll do my best. Shake hands, go back into the past. And in the past, what we see is he is finally with Akun again, man. Akun, who, who we saw die like two episodes ago. And now it's kind of like a reunion a little bit. I mean, it's not so much a reunion for Akun, but it is a reunion for Takamichi, who last time he saw, Akun was in the future where he killed himself. So it was pretty serious. And basically Takamichi's like, you need to follow your dreams. And Akun says like his dream is to be a hairstylist. So yeah, Takamichi's like, do that shit, man. Be a hairstylist, I will be your first customer. And uh, I believe in you, that's pretty wholesome. And that's when Takamichi rolls up on Mikey and the squad and he's like, hey, you guys can't fight. And he gets punched and he still says, 
y'all can't fight don't do it i don't want to lose my my new friends and um the one dude that punched him starts to fight him again then draken loki might have started that that split between the two factions because draken says like hey you know maybe we should look into mebius and like not just go out there and fight them like maybe takamichi is saying something for a reason and then mikey's like are you are you against toman which is maybe that's how the different factions started i don't know that was pretty interesting but before things could get worse between draken and mikey that's when mebius shows up as a, a whole like the whole damn gang shows up the leader shows up bops the one dude that was beating up Takamichi and the rest of the gang is there with him. What's gonna happen in the next episode? I believe that Takamichi is going to step up to the plate. He's gonna take an ass whooping to try to figure out who is behind everything. I, I really am sure that that's what's gonna happen. So in the meantime, leave a comment down below what you thought about this episode. Let me know if there is something that sticks out. I don't think we got any sort of like, I don't think we got any sort of censorship from this episode, which is great. But also they didn't do much to show any sort of thing that would have censorship. I am not at all looking forward to the big fight because I feel like they are going to censor the fuck out of it and it is just going to look like five images. That's gonna, the whole entire fight's gonna be five images. I bet. It's gonna be so bad. I'm hoping that at least one of the symbols slips through and that way they could just stop censoring. That'd be great. Though I doubt that's gonna happen. I mean, hopefully they just stop censoring on their own. So again, leave a comment what you thought about this episode down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.